Good morning. It is Wednesday. Well, I guess it's not really morning. It's like noon. Um, but I just noticed a couple days ago that we have dandelions coming up in the yard and I have stuff I want to make out of them with them. Like, um, today we're going to go harvest as many as we can and we're going to make a dandelion infused, uh, we'll probably do olive oil so that I can make a dandelion salve and then, um, we'll probably harvest some of the greens to have with a salad tonight with dinner. There's another child coming inside. They want me to come out. <laughs> I had to get dressed in my basket, but I will, um... But we'll see what I can get filmed while I'm trying to harvest dandelions with four kids. Okay, we're getting some. I don't know exactly how many we have. I didn't bring out a measuring thingy. And I think the recipe I was looking at calls for about four cups of dandelion heads. But we'll see. We still got, we still got some more. Kids are having fun. And Hunter, the cat. Let me see if I can... She's an indoor cat, and Ruben's been bringing her out on her harness, and she's seeming to really enjoy it, so, I don't know, I grew up with outdoor cats, so we're going to let her just hang outside a little bit when we're out, and hopefully she won't take off. Ruben would be heartbroken, but she really likes being outside. What, buddy? You're, you're going to see lots of bees. that's <laughs> bees. Huh. Yeah, don't bug, don't bug the bees. The bees are There's a lot over there, so we're gonna go get some of those. Okay, so I got inside. I finished taking any little tails off that they had, and I just am doing a quick rinse. Um, none of the recipes I saw for doing what I'm doing said I had to, but I really wanted to rinse them. Um, and then my greens wilted before I even made it inside, so um, I don't know if there's some kind of nuance to picking the dandelion greens that I don't know about, but. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and quickly get these out of the water and get them in here and then I've got to lay them out on something so that they can dry because they're already a water heavy flower and I just let them soak. So they're gonna have to dry for a few days before I can put them in the oil. Okay, so I've got them drained and I have a couple layers of this. Well, I think four layers total. This is just like a big disposable, um, like lasagna pan, I guess. I don't know. I just had them in the pantry, so um, I just got them sitting here by an open door with the screen on it so that they can kind of dry out a bit. It'll take a few days. We'll see how long it takes them. And then we'll put them in their oil. I think they're gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, they've been through a lot, so they're not as pretty now, but uh, when we're out picking them, they're just beautiful. Never understood why people hate these and think that they're weeds. I think they're awesome. Unless you want like perfectly manicured grass, if that's your thing, then you probably hate these. <laughs> but I don't. I think that perfectly manicured grass is wasteful and ridiculous, personally. But if you like it, then okay. But yeah, so um, I will probably go ahead and upload this one. Careful, buddy. And then I will maybe do the process of um, infusing the oil and then making the salve together in another video. But um, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.